Evelyn, you're making such a noise. Are you that excited about your birthday? Yes. That's good to hear. Your friends are almost here. But can we see and say hello to Power Kids? Do you think we have enough time to tell a story before your friends arrive? Yes. Okay, you go and get ready and I'll tell the story. Friends, our story is from Mark 11. In Mark 11, they are telling us how the people of that time were celebrating Jesus entering into Jerusalem. This was for Palm Sunday. We still celebrate it today. Let's see how they've done their celebrations. Jesus was walking with the disciples towards Jerusalem. As they neared Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of his disciples into town and said to them that they will find a young donkey tied that hasn't been ridden to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone stops you, tell them that this is for the Lord and that he needs it, and he will return it as soon as he is done. The two disciples did exactly as Jesus taught them and went into town. They found the young donkey tied, as Jesus explained. Close by there were some men standing there, and they asked them, What are you doing with the young donkey? The disciples said, This is for the Lord and that he needs it. Just as Jesus explained to them. Then the young men said to them, They allowed to take the donkey. The disciples brought the young donkey to Jesus and they put their coats onto the donkey so that Jesus had a soft spot to sit on. As they made their way into the city of Jerusalem, people went ahead and shouted, Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Others were shouting, Hosanna, the son of David. Other people were shouting, Hosanna in the highest. All the while, the people lined the streets, cheering and waving palm branches. It was a wonderful celebration, a very noisy celebration, almost as noisy as Adeline earlier. Do you think Jesus loved that noise? I think he loved it a lot. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Just as those people celebrated it over 2,000 years ago, we have come here today to celebrate Jesus. What better day to do that than on Palm Sunday? Let's close off with a prayer, friends. Father, today we want to celebrate in your name, Lord, and we want to thank you and say thanks for this wonderful and joyous day and that we are glad that you added another one to our lives. And let's rejoice and be glad in it, just like they celebrated it over 2,000 years ago. And let's be glad and rejoice in it today as well. We thank you for that, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name. Amen. Thanks, friends, for joining. I hope to see you soon.